Well, yes. How are you, Mr. President? I just wanted to tell you I loved you and I hadn't heard from you and see how you're doing. Well, it's been all right. I had to go up and take some shots from the doctor a while ago on kind of a uh, bursitis arm that I've got, but then I, outside of that, I'm 100%. Well, I didn't think that you'd been out playing golf with Ike. He told me he had a bursitis arm a few years ago, and I didn't know you were a golfer. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I don't know where I got it. I picked it up somewhere. How's Miss Truman? Oh, she's fine. Looks like to me your son-in-law's doing pretty good. Yes, he's doing all right. I'm very proud of him. I, I bet that I bet that grandchild's having some effect on him. Maybe that's helping him, you reckon? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I'm sitting here talking to a couple of your old friends about the best men I got around me these days, the ones that you left here. Well, I'm uh, glad you old Clark, Clif old Clark Clifford comes in every once in a while. Dean Addison had lunch with me, and Jim Webb's here with me now, and he won't say a word to you. Just a minute. Well, all right. I'll be glad to talk with him. Mr. President, I've been with you so many times in this office that uh, I always think of you every time I walk in the door. Well, thank you, thank you. I, I, I'm mighty glad you feel that way, and I hope, you'll always will. I hope you always will. Well, I told so many people that uh, you always stood up and shook hands in the most polite way if I saw you ten times a day, and I always embarrassed for you to have to do that. <laughs> oh, well, why not? You know, when a fellow gets high hat after he gets a job that he didn't deserve, why, what do you think of him? I don't think much of him, do you? No, sir, but I'd, I'd say this, that uh, President Johnson has certainly done a tremendous thing in this office since he's been here. He's in the class by himself. He's, he's going to be one of the greatest of the great presidents. Well, he's going to be right in there with you in that regard. Well, uh, I think there are at least a seven or eight ahead of me, and Johnson's one of them. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't, uh, I'm going to wait for history on that. Do you want to, want to say another word to the president? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Mr. President? He's setting me up on a pedestal where I don't belong. Oh, you do. You belong on the highest one around, and Lady Bird and I keep you on it all the time. Listen, uh, sometime in the next week or so, I want to, if you feel like it and you're up to it, I want to fly out there and just sit around and gab with you a little well, bit. I'd like very much to have you do that. Right. And you set the date, and I'll be there. Well, I'll just call you, and the uh, first afternoon I can get off. It won't take long, and... Uh, well, it's all right. You can take as long as you want, because I, I've got a lot of things I'd like to talk with you about, but I I, I don't want to introduce the subject. Uh, well... I, I want to be of help to you. That's well, what I'm uh, working for. You, you always help. What in the devil did you do to Roy Roberts to make you a Democrat out of it? <laughs> <laughs> he, he's going anywhere. <laughs> I, I don't trust him, though. <laughs> You've been at the star as long as I have. You know better to trust him. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, it sounds good now, doesn't it? I said? I say his, his editorial sounded good now, didn't it? Oh, yes, it sure did. <laughs> That's the first one he said since Grover Cleveland they ever endorsed. Uh, that's absolutely correct. He never said a kind word about a Democrat. He could help it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the reason I look at it with suspicion. Uh, well, I, uh, I want to come see you, and I'll give you a ring in the next few days and run out some afternoon. All right. I'll be awful glad to see you. Uh, will you buy me a drink? I'll do that. I'll uh, do if you like. Okay. Okay. Uh, Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.